Wind and Controls uh, Australia specialise in hoisting systems. Uh, we design, manufacture, install and commission hoisting systems for both uh, friction winders and drum winders. Uh, we specialise also in the conveyances of those uh, hoisting systems. We also do uh, upgrade of winding systems or winders uh, to bring them into the latest standards and regulations and to ensure that they're of a high safety level. Our core focus is the uh, design and manufacture of winding systems and hoisting systems. Uh, our approach is a collaborative approach uh, with the client and to ensure that the client is delivered the correct product and, and a product that uh, is easily maintained to take them into the future and give them a good life of their equipment. Wine and Controls Australia's unique selling point is that we treat each project on its merit. We work with the client. We understand that often there are challenges with regards to deadlines, uh, also constraints with the client's budget. Uh, so we work with the, the customer uh, to ensure that they uh, get bang for buck and, and, and get an asset that's, uh, that, that's reliable. Winder Controls was successful in winning the Driftwinder system at uh, Helensburg, Metropolitan Colliery, Peabody Energy. That project was uh, a challenging project in the sense that the mine is a very, very old mine. The confines or the footprint in which we had to fit the winder uh, meant we had to look at some alternative design concepts with regards to the brake disc being on one side because we couldn't correct the uh, winder centre to the drift centre. Uh, we also had to look at the way that we brought the motor into the gearbox with a right angle input uh, due to the small footprint that we had to work with. Uh, we were jammed in between a 2,000 tonne ore bin and the process plant uh, with a retaining wall that was very, very, very old and some concern that if we were to touch it or do any excavation of that, that it wouldn't hold up. This then posed the second problem to us about cross-contamination of oil. Uh, therefore we had to consider how we were going to prevent uh, possible uh, contamination of oil in the event of a hose burst. Uh, and we did this by additional guarding uh, to ensure that and ensuring that we had hoses and protection uh, on those hoses if that event occurred. Due to the fact the mine's a very old mine and the entry road to the mine uh, actually has a hairpin and it's quite challenging to get large trucks uh, down past that hairpin, we had to ensure that the winder was sent in in sub-assemblies in the sense that the drum uh, had its own sub-base, uh, gearbox had its own sub-base and motor had its own sub-base. Uh, and then uh, due to the confines of the site, we, we, we needed to uh, use a 450-tonne uh, hydraulic crane uh, to place the, the three sub-assemblies in position and then couple them up uh, once in situ. Metropolitan project was a SIL-2 MDG-33, MDG-2005 uh, design registered piece of equipment. Uh, winder controls were engaged by Peabody to not only deliver the winder, the drift winder, but also to deliver the dolly car. Uh, recently Peabody engaged us to provide a 40 man car that is coupled up to the front of that dolly car. Uh, this will allow them to get their workforce underground much quicker than they currently can get their people to the work face. When we initially quoted the project, uh, we found that the uh, budget constraints within the mine didn't allow the manufacturer, design manufacturer of, of a new 40-man car. Uh, Winder Control set about sourcing a second-hand 40-man car that we could refurbish and we did do this and delivered that to the mine recently at a significantly cheaper price than an as new 40 man car. Winder Controls were successful in winning the 130 man cage, it's men and materials cage at Appen West. That project consists of re-engineering the existing cage to ensure that it fits into their existing shaft and uh, rope configuration. The challenge within that project was that uh, it needed to be re-engineered to the latest standards and that meant that we had to think a little bit laterally in terms of how we would manage that yet deliver on the capacity of the men and materials requirement within the contract. During dialogue with 
with the operations and project team of App and West, we found that they historically had problems with a certain guide wheel in terms of uh, premature failure of the tyres. The CMAG Techberg, our parent company, designs and manufactures guide wheels uh, with a particular rubber compound. Uh, we incorporated the CMAG Techberg guide wheels into that man cage and we have uh, experienced good uh, tyre wear. Winder Controls Australia supplies the mining industry with end-to-end -end hoisting solutions with our unique collaborative approach between the engineering disciplines. Winder Controls Australia provides integrated turnkey solutions of mine winders and hoisting equipment. We are part of the international CMAG Techberg Group. Winder Control is established locally and growing with the support of their head office and their over 140 years of experience. Our local team will get to know your business and its needs. They will work closely with you to form a customised solution, supported by our regional and global operations. The company in Germany has founded over seven new subsidiaries worldwide. And with this gave us a network of qualified engineers project managers and of installation and commissioning engineers which we can use the resources from worldwide. And it's because of our global footprint we have the ability to be responsive, sourcing components and expertise from the best in the world. Focused on giving you the best value and building a long-term partnership that supports your business. Winder Controls Australia provides hoisting solutions using innovative technology safe solutions you can rely on. Shareholders and senior management encourage a safe culture and will not compromise any safety for the sake of budgets or deadlines. We work and operate safely to provide transport resources, equipment and people. With our new uh, division Techberg Industrial Systems, Winder Controls is now able to actually serve the defence, infrastructure, marine and materials handling industries of Australia. Solutions you can depend upon that are cost effective. From design concept to client handover, we offer a full turnkey solution. Winder Controls Australia are there to support you and your business and will continue to do so to maximise productivity and minimise downtime. Winder Controls moved to Glendening to new premises, a new workshop, which enables us to actually mechanically and hydraulically serve our clients we be able to refurbish and assemble equipment in our workshop ourselves. With a whole-of-life approach to projects, clients can have confidence that Winder Controls Australia will continue to deliver efficient, reliable mining solutions for today and the future. Our shareholders have invested in Winder Controls Australia for the long term to serve our customers in Australia and the Asia-Pacific. CMAG Techberg Germany have designed and manufactured and delivered rescue winches which are a safe winding system on the back of a truck or crane. Uh, that machine is designed to recover people from uh, a mine shaft conveyance in the event the hoisting system breaks down or somebody needs to be recovered from a ventilation shaft or any other mine shaft in the event of an emergency. We're currently tendering a project at the moment in Australia that we would do the design and manufacture of that machine uh, here locally to a SIL2 compliant level uh, in accordance with the relevant uh, MDG guidelines, best practices and current regulations. CMAG Techberg Germany uh, have designed jack catches and arrestor systems for many years. So, uh, Winder Controls Australia are currently delivering those products uh, and incorporating our design needs and purposes uh, within those designs and delivering that to the industry. The jack catcher and arrestor system uh, is designed to arrest a conveyance, a shaft conveyance, uh, in the event that it's out of control. The arrestor system arrests the energy and the jack catcher system prevents the conveyance from falling back down the shaft. We've got a new system at the moment which is a combined jack catcher arrestor system 
that we're incorporating at Cobar number two shaft. Uh, this system lends itself to existing systems that have uh, confines or constraints within the head frame or the sky tower uh, and it ensures that the conveyance is uh, both captured and arrested uh, at the same time. Winder Controls Australia have diversified into the rope handling business. Uh, we have purchased through an intercompany purchase a friction winch uh, and its purpose is to rope up friction winders or copy winders as they're known. I believe it's the only machine in this country that's capable of doing so. It can do up to six head ropes at once. Uh, it's capable of 50 tonne and up to a 64 mil rope. The advantage for the mine in roping up their head ropes or copy winders with all ropes in one process greatly reduces the downtime that the mine would be subjected to uh, in the event they did one rope at a time. We believe that our uh, benefit in diversifying into the rope handling business is that we also have the appropriate personnel, engineers and service technicians to be able to commission the winders upon completion of the rope change and hand over the operating system back to the mine. Winder Controls Australia has a service department by which we service our winders, hoisting systems and brake systems. We undertake periodic servicing and audits we currently have numerous service contracts with multiple mines across the country. Uh, we have highly trained and experienced and qualified personnel that we send to mine sites to carry out particular checks and balances to ensure that the system is safe and to ensure that we prevent any unnecessary downtime to the mine. During our service visits, we undertake uh, inspections and checks on the brake calibres and on the brake systems. Uh, this allows us to predict potential failure rates of uh, components and advise the mine when they should be changing out, particularly brake calipers, and we provide a service exchange system or service on the brake calipers. Uh, winder controls uh, tended uh, for a ground-mounted drum winder at Cobar. We were asked to look at providing maximum output uh, from that shaft. Uh, we'd already tended uh, for Cobar 2. Uh, Cobar 2 was a town mounted friction winder. The Cobar 2 project initially started as a brake upgrade, uh, however we recognised that the mine would be far better off in the long term in changing out the complete winding system, changing out the winder itself, motor and gearbox. Uh, so we offered up a, a non-conforming bid uh, on that approach and were successful. We also set about then designing both winders to have the synergy of the control systems, the brake system, the brake posts and the motor and drive to be common to, to allow the mine to carry only one spare motor for the two winders. So Winder Controls uh, pride itself on a collaborative approach uh, with the mine and the mine personnel, both the project team and the operation team. Uh, we get into the detail of the operation of the winder as well as the maintenance of the winder and, and the long-term life cycle of the winder and the hoisting system. We look at each maintenance activity that needs to be undertaken. Uh, on Cobar 1, we decided to uh, set the winder up as an underwound system instead of an overwound, uh, and this would allow greater access for uh, lubrication of the rope and NDT of the rope, which has to happen on uh, a fairly frequent basis. So winder controls uh, approached Cobar 2 winder in a sense that the mine needed to buy a spare gearbox for their existing system. However, we didn't want to spend additional amounts of money to then design a new gearbox for the new upgrade and the replacement of that. So we worked with uh, the gearbox manufacturer to uh, configure the winder gearbox to ensure that it met our needs for the long-term use, but also met the mine's needs in the short-term period uh, prior to the, the shutdown of the system. Winder Controls were fortunate enough to be invited to tender on the materials handling uh, package. We were invited on the basis that mine could recognise the benefit of having winder controls on the site to coordinate uh, both winders, the shaft 2 winder, a shaft 1 winder and the materials handling package and to ensure the inf interface of those winding systems and the materials handling worked and worked well together. Uh, they also recognised that uh, having one project team on site would uh, ensure that they only dealt with one company and dealt with ma major key players within our project team 
and we managed all of the other interfaces and work activities within that. Winder Controls uh, has now got an automation and drives technology a business which brings to the mining industry the complete uh, capability in terms of electrical and automation systems. The difference here is we are a systems integrator who is totally brand agnostic and therefore we are able to provide our customers with whatever equipment they choose, whatever brand they choose, where we bring process knowledge, process technology to the customer and integrate the whole system for them. We are able to supply to the customer a fully integrated brand new turnkey system or we are able to refurbish and upgrade systems for them. Importantly, because we are systems integrators, we are able to bring to the customer upgrade parts and obsolescence management where they don't have to throw out the complete kit that they have got, but we are able to upgrade it with modern equipment and bring it up to current standards. SIL is a relatively new concept that has been brought into the market now, and particularly industries such as mining, where safety is paramount. The SIL rating is now mandatory for most of the equipment that is being supplied into the market. Winder Controls in Australia have now pulled this whole system together and developed a whole series, a whole number of documents, where we are able to now make ensure that all our designs comply with AS61508. Having established a team of professional engineers with diverse background, Winder Controls is now able to bring to our customers technology that can be applied in a number of industries. We have recently formed Techberg Industrial Systems, where we are able to offer the technology to our customers in infrastructure, both road and rail, in defense, in materials handling, and in marine systems. The base technology is the same, it is having the process knowledge and the application know-how in these various industries. That, with our complement of professional engineers, we are able to bring that technology to our customers.